Hi, happy Friday morning, and welcome to Now, the fun show hosted by me, Curtis P. Today we're kicking the show off, actually starting the show off with a little bit of a shout out here. Looking back on Wednesday's show, you probably seen me wearing this. This is the Fox hoodie that I kind of wore because it's tons of fun. Well, the people who make it, Canada Cosplay, actually seen the show and they thought, that is freaking cool. So they sent me this free hat, so I couldn't just not say anything. So to the people over at Canada Cosplay, thank you very much. Hearts to you. I can't really, got a coffee on the other hand, but hearts to you guys. Thanks for sending me this. It's super cool. This is the cat. If you guys want to check out all of the stuff that Canada Cosplay has, you can check them out at CanadaCosplay.com where you can find all the really cool stuff. Order some stuff, that's where I got the Fox hoodie and like a bunch of other cool things. Again, not a sponsorship here, just the fact that they did something really cool and I thought, hey, let's return the favor and say, go and check them out. You want cool stuff? Go get cool stuff. Coffee. The best transition for the morning because we're moving on to something very interesting here. The fact that Rob Ford, he's back in the news. Rob Ford being the Toronto mayor who allegedly was smoking crack cocaine. And it looks like the Toronto police have actually found a video of him doing said thing. Or at least purchasing crack cocaine according to them. This blew up a couple months ago because Gawker actually said they could buy the film for $200,000. They then went on to raise a bunch of money but then the video couldn't be found or bought so they donated the money to a different charity. Well now it looks like the Toronto police have another incriminating video on him. An interesting development here, Ford's close friend Lisi has actually gone into custody because it's suspected that he was selling the drugs to Ford. At the current time Ford says he has no plans to resign from his post, no legal things are being pursued because of this, but of course the video does exist, so the police may look into it more. So to Mr. Rob Ford, Mayor of Toronto, Canada, congratulations. Next up, for the tech-friendly people like myself, it appears that the FAA has actually approved the use of devices during your entire flight. Yes, you can now use devices at all times during your flight. Do you want to listen to music? you want to watch a movie? Boom, you can do all of those from gate to gate. Though your device can still not send signals. I.e. you can't call, you can't text, you can't do that internet type things over the cellular data. None of that, just, you know, watching movies, videos, playing games. Stuff that doesn't require signal bouncings. Bouncings, apparently a word. Delta and JetBlue have jumped right onto the bandwagon and have filed the necessary papers to get this pushed through and available as quick as possible. At the current time, they're the only two airlines really talking about this, but this will come into effect in the future. Though for Canadian type people like my Myself. No real news as to how this works in Canada, but I can assure you it will probably come this way very soon. Next up in your morning news, let's talk a little bit more about technology here because the Nexus 5, that being the brand new Nexus phone, has been announced by Google and LG. LG created the Nexus 4 and now has created the Nexus 5, an Android phone running 4.4 KitKat. Because apparently that's what they wanted to call the next version of Android, KitKat after a chocolate bar. Though not hating on them here, KitKat is a solid choice. I love myself a KitKat bar. The Nexus 5 supports LTE connections, has a beautiful 5-inch 1080p screen, and comes in 16 and 32 gig varieties. It's also available straight from Google Unlocked on the Play Store, so if you want to go pick that up for yourself, you can. Also note, it actually tends to be cheaper to buy it straight from Google, which is surprising. One of the cool things about the Nexus device is that they're only around $300, which is considerably cheaper than Apple's variety completely unlocked. Coffee! Next up into the world of video games, because it looks like that South Park video game that everyone's been talking about, I've been talking about, yeah, it's delayed again. Beginning to sound like a broken record, I am once again announcing the fact that South Park, the stick of truth, has been delayed. Originally, it was supposed to come out on December 10th of this year, though it has now been pushed back to March 4th of 2014. Which is crazy, because originally it was supposed to come out in the second half of 2012. Then it was pushed back to early 2013, then late 2013, and now 2014. I'm beginning to wonder if this video game will ever actually surface. Or if it's just like that metaphorical thing that just kind of like is out there, but you just can't reach it. Ubisoft, though, the developer of the game, says that they're working to make the game just right before launch. To which I have to say, I get you, you want to make it perfect, but you got to sell the game at some point, otherwise people are going to lose interest. Simple fact. And the last topic of the day, let's talk about a childhood toy that I absolutely loved. Lego was one of my favorite toys ever, and the official trailer for the Lego movie has just dropped onto the internet. There was a teaser trailer released before, but now we get a full view into this amazing looking movie. Directed 
directed by Phil Lord and Chris Miller, the creators of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, it looks like an entirely stop motion video, which is pretty freaking cool because it's Lego, it's stop motion, and it's amazing. It features the voices of famous actors like Will Ferrell, Will Arnett, Elizabeth Banks, Liam Neeson, and of course, Mr. Morgan Freeman. Because apparently he has nothing else to be in except for every freaking movie these days. Seriously, Morgan Freeman, like what, what are you doing? You're in like, everything. Whatever, the Lego movie looks pretty freaking cool. Of course, check out the full trailer in the description down below. It's an amazing thing. You're gonna wanna watch it probably over and over and over again. So amazing. So talking about the Lego movie here, which I'm totally looking forward to, looks amazing. Cannot wait because it's Lego. It's a movie. They're coming together. Awesome! But what movies are you currently looking forward to coming out in the next few months? You can let me know in the comments section down below. You can also let me know on my Facebook page, Twitter account, or through Google+. Links to all that and the other topics I talked about in today's episode in the description down below. Check out all the links down there. Tons of really cool stuff. Of course, if you enjoyed today's show, why not hit up that like button, subscribe, and maybe even share the show with your friends. Until Monday, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now. This is a coffee. And it's amazing. Yeah. After video. I love when you stay beyond the black and then you get to see me. It's like, what is it? Is there something more? There is. There's me sitting here drinking coffee for all of you. Uh, my hand is actually a little sore from holding this cup for so long. But um, yeah. Thought I would do a morning type show because I missed Thursday. So I was like, Friday, we gotta hit Friday morning. And I was like, gotta have the coffee, gotta have the YouTube branding, gotta have my cat hat. Yes. Canada Cosplay, check them out. Not a paid, paid sponsorship. I'm not gonna redo that. Not a paid sponsorship. Just love them. Great guys. So, yeah.